This is the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite 2. It promises to be an energetic, responsive, carbon-plated racing shoe with a full 39mm wedge of fuel cell foam under the heel and an 8mm drop from heel to toe. With a stripped back rubber outsole and a breathable mesh upper, this shoe is designed to offer the ultimate lightweight package to take you from 5k to marathon in record time. So let's give it a test. Yes, good morning guys. So it is Dan here and this is my review of the first run in the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite V2. So stick with me, I'll take this for 21K today and then I'll let you know my thoughts after the first run. We are currently running at around five minutes a K or eight minute miles just to uh, get the 11K easy run ticked off before we step this up. So as I just break into this run, let's talk a little bit about the shoes. It is carbon plated and it's wedged full of a huge amount of fuel cell cushioning, which is the same cushioning found in the Rebel V2, which got amazing reviews recently. Now I did tie the runners not into the shoe, so I've got that extra lockdown just below the ankle. So I know it's incredibly cliche to talk about a shoe and mention the words marshmallow, cushioning, cloud, but these shoes are literally born for those cliches it really does feel super soft underfoot and it's the first thing you notice when you start running is just how much it absorbs and gives back so the upper feels really really forgiving um, although it's got a really good lockdown around the ankle um, there's still plenty of room nothing's rubbing the fit feels true to size I'm a nine and a half usually um, in most new balance shoes most other shoes and this feels absolutely bang on can't say I feel the carbon plate massively at this speed, but I imagine that carbon plate is also helping with rigidity in the foam um, and just helping it bounce back. Even though it's not massively noticeable, it doesn't mean it's not working. So yeah, really comfortable first impression. So today we are running through Escot Park in East Devon and it's absolutely glorious. Check out these scenes. So far, take it very steady and easy, but the level of cushioning in this shoe is unreal. Um, definitely one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever had the pleasure of putting on my feet. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about pushing the pace in this. So that is 11K of the easy stuff done, and now it's time to put the hammer down and see what I can do over the marathon pace for the next 8K. Um, I'm gonna push myself pretty hard on this and see what is achievable. Um, because also I want to feel the shoe when I'm really going for it. But wait, 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 before we get on with that, I'm going to smash down one of these, the Morton CAF 100. This stuff is literally like jelly and it just slips down your throat. Um, it's not flavored or anything like that. And the only stuff in it is really designed to uh, give you a performance benefit. So I don't mess around with any, anything extra in there. Yes, so that is the workout done and the shoes just came alive in that last 8K. So uh, that, that cushioning under the forefoot is really, really noticeable. And I think the faster you go, the more you start to notice that kind of response that must be aided by the carbon plate. Um, again, you can't feel the carbon plate, but it's definitely working hard because the response you get out of this shoe is, is impressive. Um, yeah, the fit for me has been absolutely brilliant. Um, like I said, true to size and it works a dream. The upper, love it, and it actually shimmers in the sun as well, which is very, very fancy. Now, I love everything about this shoe and it's definitely, definitely gonna be put on the shelf and used for my faster sessions and saved for London Marathon in the autumn. So um, yeah, absolutely love this shoe. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and drop me a like on this video. Uh, let me know what you think of this shoot in the comments.